Age of Empires 4 is soon to be released and of course we've got lots of information about it, but I wanted to work on a short series about looking at the civilizations. Of course with Age of Empires, a lot of the gameplay is about the different bonuses that civilizations get, so I wanted to take a closer look at the civilizations that they've announced, and today we're taking a look at the Mongols. The Mongols are an agile civilization, excelling in hit and run military strategies and capable of expanding armies rapidly. The Mongol civilization in Age of Empires 4 are extremely capable in hit and run strategies thanks to their exceptional mobility and nomadic nature originating in the grand steppes of Central Asia. You witness the Mongols through the ages spanning from 1000 to 1500 CE. As a disciplined civilization recognized for changing history in connecting the East to the West. In Age 4, the Mongols are known for their unique structure and are at their most powerful when playing to their strengths in tight groups. They speak Mongolian, the most widely spoken of the Mongolic languages. The Mongolian civilization is a fearsome force. Because of their high mobility, one may not meet them in massive throngs, but even in small numbers, their army can outmaneuver enemies with ease. Their aggressive military production capabilities force the opponent to be on the defensive early. The Mongols are a nomadic civilization with the ability to move their base. Combined with early access to cavalry units and speed granted from outposts, the Mongols reign supreme in flanking enemies and retreating quickly before enemies have a chance to catch up. They build up their economy with unique buildings like the stone mining Ovu. The Mongols' need for resources for their army can trigger a dramatic battle for resources as they pursue total domination. There are two units which have been revealed for the Mongols' civilization. The Khan. The Khan is a unique horse archer unit. His signal arrow ability supports and strengthens the Mongol army, making him a fearsome foe. The Mangadai. The Mangadai are the star of the Mongols' fearsome military, a supreme horse archer that excels at hit and run tactics. As we can see, the unique units for the Mongols stay true to the description given earlier. Very much hit and run type units and both seem to be horse archer orientated. Through the Ages At the dawn of battle in Age 1, the Mongols start off with several unique buildings to grow their nomadic empire. Despite having no access to farms or walls, the Uvu and Jir, unique buildings to the Mongols, provide crucial advantages in this early age. H2 brings a new era for the growing Mongol civilization. They gain access to pasture, a unique building that replaces farms. The Silver Tree Landmark, one of the landmarks available to advance from Age 1, gives the Mongols a special economic advantage. It acts as a market that builds traders faster and cheaper. By Age 3, the Mongol civilization is thriving. The Steppe Red Out Landmark pushes their economy to new heights acting as a jur that increases gold drop-offs and funneling more resources for a rapid growing military force. The Kaganite Palace is one of the landmarks bringing you into Age 4 and it establishes the Mongol civilization with the supreme army. This distinct landmark produces Mangadai, horseman or a knight, bringing victory closer for the Mongols in the last coming moments of battle. What's really interesting with the Mongols here is that in Age 1 they actually have no access to farms or walls, which is very different to what we'd normally expect, at least comparing it to Age of Empires 2. Instead, they gain access to the pasture, which is a unique building that replaces farms. They also have a really strong economic boost with the Step Red Out landmark in Age 3 to push their economy to new heights. In summary, the Mongols are described as a nomadic civilization with highly mobile units and early access to cavalry units. They have the special units the Khan and Mangadai, which are both essentially horse archers. Interestingly, they don't have access to farms or walls in Age 1, and they have the landmark called the Silver Tree, which acts as a market that builds traders faster and cheaper. Looking at the Mongol civilization, it's incredibly interesting that they don't get farms, but of course, they have a very strong military presence, and I'm really excited to see the Mangadai. 
So guys, hope you enjoyed that video. If you're interested in more content like this, do hit the right end card screen there. That will take you to the playlist to look at the overview of all the other civilizations we've covered so far. Alternatively, click the left end card screen and that will take you to the video on the English civilization. Take care guys. See you in the next video.